<sighs> Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Massive issues with my StreamYard situation at the moment. So we're going to have to keep compromising the way we're doing videos at the moment. Um, I'll sort that out very, very soon. But right now, let's be candid. That's what we're going to do. The news is flowing through. We cannot stop the content. We cannot stop talking about uh, all the things that we need to talk about. So it is what it is. So hang tight there with me. Hopefully, um, you know, it, it's it's not too much of an issue for the time being until I sort things out. Look, three bits of news that I really want to talk about today. Three interesting stuff that's happened um, that needs some form of, um, you know, detailed view on it. So first of all, let's get in on it. First of all, the news that I've got right now uh, is Marina Granescova is likely leaving Chelsea at the end of August and the top target to replace her is Andrea Berta of Atletico Madrid. I've got no idea who Andrea Berta is. I've asked a few people and they've got no idea either. Um, bottom line, have Atletico Madrid done fairly good business in recent times probably you know they've been able to um, sell some of their top top stars for good money but at the same time they've uh, they've been uh, they've been hammered with some big big prices as well Jao Felix but then again you probably could say 126 million for Jao Felix maybe he's worth more than that right now um, you know they, they've, they've bought Mar I think it was a Morata in recent times as well it didn't work out he left and um, yeah, now they've got Griezmann there, Luis Suarez in recent times. Um, they, I feel like overall they have a good track record. They do have a, a good track record. Now, in regards to Marina Granescova, I've, I've got no issues, the fact that she's leaving. I, th I think she needs to go as well. We need to have a fresh start here. I think she's going to stick around for a short period of time, as, as it said here, at the end of August. So she'll oversee this particular transfer window. I hope she doesn't screw things up. She's done some magnificent stuff uh, for us, I'm not going to lie, uh, in regards to uh, Eden Hazard. Most recently, we're going to bank another 20 million for Eden Hazard because Real Madrid won the Champions League. So look, she's done some good stuff, but she's done some really, really outrageous things as well. I think recently what was a Bakayoko contract extension, we're, in, we're stuck in the mud for that. Um, you know, some, some contracts in regards to, I suppose, some of the salaries that, that's been laid out. She She's not the one who goes out there and scouts, but she's definitely the one who negotiates the financial package. So look, some of the salaries that we have in our current squad is quite mad. Um, some of the so the contract negotiations as well, you know, Rudiger situation. I don't know if that was the best way to handle that. And she's definitely in charge for that. Um, so look, I'm happy Todd Bowley is looking to um, you know, bring in someone new and start fresh. And as I said, you know, we're under a new regime now, under a new consortium. And let's start with a fresh outlook on everything. You know, we're now looking into... Um, you know, sporting director or whatever you call this particular position, financial controller. Um, Andrea Berta, I think, goes by the sporting director uh, of, of um, Atletico Madrid. So uh, let me know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments below what you know about Andrea Berta of Atletico Madrid. Um, yeah, they're the ones that, that's in line to take over. Apparently, I don't know much about Andrea Berta, but do let me know. How do you feel about Marina Granescova as well? As I said, I think it's 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 a good decision to start fresh. Um, and there's talks about how Todd Bowley uh, and, and, the, and the consortium are looking to bring in ex-players to be part of the board as well. There's names like Marco Balak being thrown around. Obviously, Peter Cech is already a part of it. So, yeah, as many good... You know, footballing brains are involved. Uh, I think I think it's always a good sign. Um, you know, in the in the future, as, as long as there's not too many cooks, in, in too many chefs in the kitchen, as they say. At the end of the day, Thomas Tuchel is the one that needs to have a clear idea as to what's going on, and then from there on, um, you know, definitely need a director of football who can go out there and find gems. We need a good scouting network as well. So, um, kudos to Marina Granescova if if that's the case. And, and as I said, it's good fresh start. Now, let's look at the next news. It's in regards to Christian Pulisic. Um, and this is quite interesting. Apparently, Jurgen Klopp is very, very 
um, well, he admires the player. He's interested about the player. He admires the player. So Chelsea forward Christian Pulisic is a player liked by Jurgen Klopp, but as it stands, no deal is likely for his current valuation. This is from Mel Sport. Now, Liverpool are going to lose uh, Sadio Mane, it looks like. We've covered that in recent times. And it also looks like Mohamed Salah might be leaving as well. Maybe not this season. It could be next season on a free. Who knows? And Mohamed Salah is actually keen on a... Premier League move, so uh, there's a lot of rumours going around that maybe Chelsea remontada uh, for Mohamed Salah. Would you take Mohamed Salah? Look, I think he's still a very, very good player. Um, has he just passed his prime? Is he in his prime at the moment, perhaps? I think he's going to be 30 years old. Uh, let me just quickly have a look at this. Salah, age um, 29. So he's going to be 30 uh, 15th June, literally in a few days, he's going to be 30. Um, I don't know whether whether we go back for him if there is an opportunity. He's still a uh, very, very fantastic, one of the best in the world at the moment. Um, but it, it reminds me of the Fernando Torres situation from Liverpool. He was absolutely flying. Then he had that injury. I know Salah's got no injury, but we got Torres... Right when, when his prime was over, he was on the decline. And I'm just a bit weary about the whole Mohamed Salah. Has he given his best years to Liverpool? I personally feel he has. Um, and whether we take him back once he's 30 plus could be could be another one of those disasters waiting to happen. Um, so I'm not too keen on that. But going back to the Pulisic, but let me know how you feel about Mohamed Salah. Going back to the whole Pulisic situation, as I said, Sadio Mane, Salah. So there could be a space opening up for someone like Pulisic. And if Jurgen Klopp likes this player, yeah, maybe maybe there is something to entertain. Now, here's the thing. I've recently said, where could Pulisic move? I did not picture him going to Liverpool. Um, but per personally, I don't think he's moving now. Uh, there's some recent quotes coming from Christian Pulisic. Uh, he's mentioned that obviously he's not happy with you know not playing enough games this season. But he's still focused. He still, um, you know, wants to do well for Chelsea. He's met the owners uh, at the end of last season that just finished. And um, he's very excited about the new situation. Now, look, our owners are, are, are American. So I highly doubt they're going to let go of one of their prime players from America, Christian Pulisic, who's going to be so marketable, uh, easily marketable in, in America. And they look, Americans look at Christian Pulisic like, um, like a super superstar, so and he can't do anything wrong. So I personally don't think he's going to leave. I don't think Tom Bowley uh, and the consortium are actually going to make a decision of letting him go. So him going to Liverpool as as slim of a chance there there may be. I don't think it's happening at all. I don't think Christian Pulisic is sticking around. But if he was to go to Liverpool. I have this feeling he's going to ball out. I just got this feeling that Jürgen Klopp is probably going to get the best out of this player. He could probably turn this player into the next um, sort of Sadio Mane or, or Mohamed Salah over there. And he goes down there and keeps banging in goals. Can you imagine? You know, they've got Luis Diaz. They've got Jota, Christian Pulisic. I won't be surprised if Jürgen Klopp gets the best out of this player and this guy just bangs in goals. So I don't know whether, whether he just needs a change in scenery. I don't know whether he, he, you know, is it, is it, you know, Thomas Tuchel, just that relationship between Tuchel and Christian Pulisic, which which is strange because they've worked together previously. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts about Christian Pulisic. I personally think he's going to stay now. I know recently there's been all sorts of talks that looks like he's heading out, but with the new American owners that we have. I don't understand how they're going to let go of Christian Pulisic, but watch this space. Even Serginho Dest is, is another one that we're getting rumoured from Barcelona, another American player. So, um, you know, uh, that's why I think Serginho Dest is a good, good shout as well. Now, lastly, what I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is Paul Pogba leaving Man United. And there's a lot of uh, Chelsea fans out there talking about, would you take Paul Pogba on a free to Chelsea? Look, he's most likely... Uh, going to Juventus, but it's a discussion to be to be had, I suppose. Paul Pogba to Chelsea, if 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 you would ever entertain that. Um, first of all, let's look at his career in Man United. Everything that you expected, I mean, 
you know, what a talent he is. But he's, for some reason, that talent, we've only seen it in snippets in Man United. First of all, Man United, what a shambolic situation with Paul Pogba. They've let him go, Paul Pogba, now twice on a free. First time they've let him go on a free, went to Juventus, absolutely bossed it in Juventus. Then they bought him for nearly £90 million to bring him back. And they never saw the same Paul Pogba as they saw in Juventus. And now he's gone on a free again. And that's the thing with Paul Pogba. I feel like his time in Man United has been littered with um, all of this, all of this, you know, off-field dramas, on-field dramas as well. As I said, we've only seen snippets of good performances here and there. When it's been good, it's been fantastic. I've I've really got annoyed in the World Cup. Uh, was it no, not World Cup Euros when there was a whole French situation with him and Mbappe, um, you know, Rabiot, and a whole heap of you know, drama that happened in the in the Euros with France. And I've just always been a bit weary. And in his issues with Jose Mourinho, he always seems to be in the headlines for some reason. And that's the one thing that really really bothers me when I think about him possibly coming to Chelsea. Um, that's why I don't want to entertain it. I don't, I can't have another, he reminds me of another player just like Romelu Lukaku. You know, it's all about me, 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 um, and, and, and all the focus is on him. And I don't really know whether he's actually going to put in for the team, keep his mouth shut and absolutely put in for the team. Now, if he was to, I feel like Thomas Tuchel could be that manager, could, could just settle that uh, beast in him and then settle that, you know, unrest that he seems to have you know off field on field at times so look his combination with Angola Kante in French international side is brilliant this is the reason why one of the reasons why they won the won the World Cup um, last time around and um, but Angola Kante is on the decline as well look I personally wouldn't have Paul Pogba on a free sounds pretty crazy but I think Paul Pogba I've, I've just seen too much issues in Man United and I don't think that, that kind of stuff that I want in, in Chelsea as well. And you know the media, you get a player like him at Chelsea, you know the media is going to be all after it as well. And we're going to be in the news on a regular basis and I just don't want that. Don't want any more drama. So look, wouldn't entertain it. He can go back to Juventus. I'm pretty sure he's probably going to do well in Juventus. And uh, maybe for him as well, you know, the change in scenery, leaving Man United, of a, of a shambolic situation that they're in at the moment, it's probably a good thing um, for both parties. So he's departing on a free, which is crazy, twice uh, on a free from Man United. That just shows how important it is. We got to make sure that we don't make these sort of mistakes. We, we're in the limbo now with Romelu Lukaku as well. So um, very, very important uh, that we sort these sort of situations out with the director of football. As I said, Marina Kaniskovar leaving as well could be a could be a good thing down the track. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, these are the three news that I wanted to go through. Let me know how you feel about Marina Kaniskovar possibly leaving. I feel it's a, it's a good thing. It's we need a fresh start. Christian Pulisic, you know, liked by Jurgen Klopp. How do you feel about that? And Paul Pogba, you know, would you would you prefer him on a free at Chelsea Football Club? Uh, although the rumours are that he's going to Juventus. So yeah, let me know if you've enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button if you have. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya. And we'll get this sorted about the whole StreamYard stuff. Don't you worry. Take care and see ya.